Good morning. We're going to do 163 and 164. Let's take a look at these questions. All right. So 163 gives us back-to-back -back stem and leaf blots. And so what I always do is I kind of draw out what the distribution looks like. And I also flip this one over because this is the mirror image. So I want to just kind of redraw the distribution of A here and the distribution of B. And I'm going to be comparing them. And the reason why I do this, it's not important on this question, but the reason why I do this is I don't want to get off right skewed or left skewed. So definitely as I look at these distributions, I'm, I'm observing a few things about them. And let's see what they'd like us to think about. Based on the plot, what is true? So it says the output of B has more variability. So B does appear to be spread out. If this was peanut butter, B looks more spread out than A. And again, some of the measures of variability would be range. Uh, IQR and standard deviation. So definitely this one has a bigger range than that one. So this one's totally a true statement. And I'm looking for true. So right now I can eliminate, excuse me, right now I can eliminate B and C. Now let's keep looking. It says the data, I'm going to jump to the third one here, the data from machine A has less skewness. And I would agree with that. This is more um, symmetrical. And this one's got a few more numbers here on the top side. It's got one number down here in comparison, left to right, but it's got four, five, six numbers up here. So that would lead us to believe that whatever the median is, whatever the number in the middle is, that the mean would be would be pulled down this way from these five or six numbers. So this would be the median, the number in the middle. And same with A, this would be the number in the middle. But it doesn't appear that there's any numbers pulling the mean. So it looks like in A, the median and the mean would be about the same number. Here in B, it looks like the mean might be pulled here. And that would be to the right. So it does appear like the data from A has, oops, yep, less. Okay, let's make sure we know the difference between A and B. It does appear machine A has less skewness, so that's going to be true. So right off the bat, we like one, so only, and we like three, so only one can't work. We like one and we like three. So let's figure out if um, th two is true or not. The mean of machine A is greater than the mean of machine B. So looking here, it looks like the median of the two are about the same, and the mean of A would be somewhere wherever the median is, because it's definitely um, symmetrical. Now here, it looks like the mean would be pulled to the right, and the right would be bigger numbers. So it does appear as if machine B mean would be greater than machine A mean because of what we explained earlier with the skewness. So let's reread this thing. It says the mean of A is greater. Nope, that's not what we got here. We believe that machine B is greater. So that's going to be false. And I'm definitely going to pick D. Moving right along, another one of these. I call these the devil writes these questions. These are always tricky. Okay, so the author wrote a book advocating the play, playing of classical music to little kids. He cited a study that reported the students who play musical instruments on average scored 51 points higher on an SAT than students who did not play an instrument. So, which of the following is not correct? So, I'm looking for not corrects. And if I find a not correct, I'm going to select it. So, I'm looking for not corrects. So, let's see, just glancing through here, if I can find a not correct. Playing a musical instrument will cause students to score higher. Oh, boy. 
We never say this. A causal length, us statisticians always avoid that. So we definitely know that three is not correct. So any choice that has three in it, we know is going to be one of our choices. So I'm just going to narrow it down for us here. So now I'm trying to figure out, is two not correct? Okay, because again, I'm looking for not corrects. So it says, the study was observational rather than experimental. Mm, I think this would be true. Uh, so I'm looking here. The students are choosing to play the musical instrument, and they took a test. So all this is happening past tense, and I did not give a treatment to these children. We're looking at this information after the fact. We look at their scores, and we decide whether or not the student chose an instrument or not. So definitely this is an observational study rather than an experiment, which also goes to this fact that we can't say causation when we're using information collected from an observational study. So since this is true, and I'm only looking for not correct, I have to eliminate B. So it's definitely E. So this is telling us this is not correct as well. And this would be telling us this would be true. So let's rewrite. There is a relationship between the instrument playing and the higher scores. And so this is, has this idea of independence. It looks as if, on average, those kids did score much higher. So you know there is some type of association between the two, even if it was an observational study. So knowing that you chose a musical instrument would help me figure out or help me predict if you got a higher score. So there is an, a relationship between the two, so that would be a true statement. And that's a true statement. And now they're saying this one is false. So the study was a matched pair. It doesn't appear as if we grouped the kids and took information before something and after something, which is usually a matched pair, a before and after of a single item. And so I'm going to mark not correct and select E. Thanks for joining us.